question on everyone's mind. Are these outfits as good as everyone has been saying they are? I don't know yet. But it seems like they're a good bang for your buck. For 1800 for the bundle here. I'm going to get one male, one female outfit. Then we have a bunch of sprays as well that we can use on the outfits. Um, in terms of design-wise. With the male outfit, we have all these different placement options. I'm going to show you the head here just for example. If I want to do tomato face for the spray on my head. Um, we have different sliders as well for adjustments. If you want it less colored, which is called saturation, we can do that to a full black and white. If you want wear and tear, it's going to make it look a little beat up and worn down, which is great. Going to put that back down to zero. And then the scale would be the size. I'm going to change the size. Very easy to understand there. Again, a lot of different places to place your spray. And then with the outfit, we have different skin tones. If you want to change your skin tone, which is great. We all love customization like that. And then we have headgear styles we can unlock. This is the default. This is the cap. The hooded horns. Now keep in mind, they do not have the same headgear options for the male and female outfits. The females are slightly different and we're going to we're going to get to that very shortly. Then we have headgear color options if you want to change the headgear on the outfit. We also have the jumpsuit color, which is the uh, the main color of the jumpsuit, obviously. And then the accessories would be your gloves, your zippers. Let's make this a white, make this a purple. Your gloves, um, your accents on your shoes, your zippers, your armor as well with the accessory color. And then the female outfit, although pretty much the same until the headgear, this is her original. This is the cap, which the male outfit also had. This is the bunny hood. Homeboy does not have this edit style like this. Then we have Cub. Then we have Pert. And then we have Bunny. Again, he does not have these type of ears for the male outfit. So if you're in between one or the other, if you're not buying the bundle, I think the female has better options with the headgear. I think they're a little bit more fun. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm boring, but it is what it is. Supporter creator. PIZ0, Pizza with a zero. You know, we're getting it. And look, I'm just going to show you like some creations that I'm going to come up with with these new outfits and then show you those in game. Again, support creator PIZ0, you know, we are getting this. Yes. Yeah. As far as the quests go for the unlockable headgear, it just looks like it's spending bars all the way up to 2,500. And we're also going to unlock some additional sprays we can use on the outfits so yeah both of them are just spending bars easy enough i'm not gonna lie i'm not in love with the sprays i have at my use right now i think i never really tried all that hard if there was like a spray reward for like a random quest tab but now it seems like i'm gonna have to pay more attention to sprays because it might give me a really interesting design with these new outfits I'll be the first one to say it here. Nothing super creative. We just put Nosh. pretty much almost everywhere. Um, some of the sprays do not look great on the front mask. So keep that in mind. So maybe I'm overthinking this, but it seems like everything I'm trying to create feels super corny once I actually like <laughs> put things on the outfit i think i'm overthinking this and these outfits you know what i mean i might be overthinking this as far as how i'm approaching combos is starting with the face i think getting a spray to look really good on the face really gets me excited to create the rest but again maybe i'm overthinking these outfits in general I think once I have the additional headgear styles, they'll be a lot more sought after for me. But as it stands, it feels slightly lackluster. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels slightly lackluster right now. So overall, if I had to give these outfits a rating right now, I think I'd idea wise definitely like a eight out of ten for idea execution wise personally mm, maybe a five being generous 
I just think there's there's a little too many options for the sprays. Now, maybe that's a good thing. But what I'm realizing is that I would like a spray, for example, on the back of my leg, a spider web to be scaled way larger than what it is right now. Like if I could scale this to where it's almost like overlapping to my other pant leg, maybe that's why it feels a little corny to me. Cause you can just tell that they're individually placed. It just looks like stickers. Maybe if you could scale it larger. So you have like a spider web that covers like a whole upper part and maybe overlaps. I don't know how that works with textures and stuff, but maybe that's why it feels like this for me right now. It literally looks like individual stickers. If I just start placing things around here, like it just looks super, super random, like uh, fill in the blank, connect the dots type of thing. So I'm going to say, I think they're off to a really good start with implementing sprays within your cosmetics, but I don't know if they're as great as I hoped they would be right now. The only thing I like is putting a really unique spray on the mask. That's about it so far. Support so, a career at PIZ0 and we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.